Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. My name is Nicholas Earl, and today we have a uh, Monday night breakdown for uh, tonight's game between the Minnesota Vikings at the Chicago Bears. And uh, for starters, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to just say straight up, here are my first two uh, bets here. I like the Bears' money line and the Bears' three, plus three and a half. My main reason behind this is, number one, they're at home. They're, they're, it's a home game for them. It's Monday night. Kirk Cousins is 0-9 on Monday night games. And I just believe that this three and a half and this minus three and a half which is, there's been money going on the Vikings here. I think this is just recency bias from the last few weeks. The Vikings with Dalvin Cook ripping off 200-yard games and Bears trying to slow down a little bit with losses against Tennessee uh, last week. I forgot who they lost to the week before. But, uh, oh, and the Saints the week before and then the Rams the week before that. But uh, I think the Bears get back on track here. I think they get the win at home against the Vikings. Uh, I think their defense is just makes them the better team. And uh, my first official bets are going half and half on the money line and the plus three and a half for the Chicago Bears. My next one here is a team total. Um, looking at what these teams have done, Chicago, uh, they've for their over, they've gone over the 20, 20 and a half points four out of nine games. So they're four to the over, five to the under on this stat. And for allowing, they are, uh, for the 23 and a half here, they've allowed 23 and a half in only three of their nine games. They're three over, uh, three over six unders for that. Vikings, on the other hand, they've scored over 23 and a half in six of their eight games. Six overs to the two unders. So this one is just a stay away from me. I'm not going to be betting on the Vikings team total, but when it comes to the Bears one, I am. And here's where I'm looking at. Yes, the Bears are four and five to that. But if you look at the defense for the Minnesota Vikings, let me just bring this up here. We're looking at 20 and a half points, 21 points. They did. They allowed that here. They allowed that there, here, 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 and here. They've allowed at least 20 and a half points in every single game this year. And I don't think that stops tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be taking the over 20 and a half points for the Chicago Bears. Um, I think they can easily put up 21 against this really bad Minnesota defense. Um, and in, so far, my bets are the over and then the money line and the uh, splitting the money line and the spread on the Bears. And the last one I'm going to be looking at is a player prop. When I do these game breakdowns, I kind of want to have a player prop in there. And who else? But the, the MVP right now for the Minnesota Vikings, we're going to be looking at Dalvin Cook uh, rushing props. So let's get... What the heck? I, it was just up earlier. There we go. And rushing yards, it is 92 and a half. Now, off of two 200 plus yard games, I believe it was 200 yards against the Lions, he put up 206. And against the Packers, he put up 163. Get ready for some uh, digression here. Um, looking at the stats for Bears defense against rushers this year, the only time they have allowed more than the 92 and a half here was against the Tampa Bay Bucks. They gave up 106 yards to Ronald Jones, and they gave up 93 yards to Adrian Peterson in week one. The last four weeks, they have not allowed more than 70 rushing yards per rush for any rusher, limiting Derrick Henry to 68 yards, Alvin Kamara to 67 yards, and uh, Henderson to 63 yards, along with Mike Davis to 52 yards, and they held Jonathan Taylor to 68. 
For me, I'm going the under for Dalvin Cook rushing yards here at 92 and a half. So my official bets for this video. I like the split of the money line and the spread with the Bears taking the points, getting the plus money. I like Dalvin Cook under 92 and a half rushing yards. And I like the team total for the Bears to be over 21 and a half or 20 and a half. That is going to do it for this Monday night breakdown. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think I'm getting this right? Do you think I'm getting this wrong? Do you think the Vikings will win, not the Bears? Do you think the uh, Vikings defense could hold them under 20 and a half? Do you think Dalvin Cook's going to run all over them? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao, guys.